really believe in one, but just what mine would look like. What would be my perfect place in this messy universe? There'd be hills, tumbling into redwood forests and wide open spaces with long grass, wildflowers, and places to hide, to discover, uncovering secrets and sunlight in a big sky. fresh baked bread, leather-bound books with blank pages and fountain pens, and of course, you. You'd be there with me, eating apples or raising bagels or doing nothing for hours, or climbing trees and forts we built ourselves, or just holding me. That's heaven right there. But what would your heaven look like? Because I loved you long enough to know that if you got put in mind with me, before long you start asking what you did wrong, your heaven would have skyscrapers, loud music and buffalo wings. There'd be wild dancing and roller coasters, less serenity and more serendipity and zip lines. And while I'm sure I'd be there too, you'd have other people. Our places are different. Would that mean you wouldn't really share mine with me? Would I end up with a different version of you, the perfect version of you that could handle my heaven? No. You see, the thing is, you're already perfect. I don't want any alterations, no nutritions or eliminations. I want you just as you are. I want you laughing too loudly at all the wrong places in my favorite movie, using the word groovy unironically. Dragging me onto the dance floor, flailing your arms and legs until everyone around us makes space for us, or you knock them out. You, startling me out of my reveries, tipping stones on the still pool of my reality, and making ripples on my skin everywhere your lips touch. Your frayed sneakers chew the pavement with real distinction as you make faces at babies whose mothers aren't looking. You, eating steak for five hours till you fall into a food coma, waking me up early and go to the third amusement park this month. You, reading that book I recommended, even though you disliked it from page one. You, telling me I'm beautiful every day for five years till I actually started to become it for myself. 